Welcome everybody to this uh, latest episode of Microsoft 3, what's happening in Microsoft 365, uh, where we're covering the different features, uh, what's available. With me this time uh, is Cathy Du, and we're going to talk about the SharePoint site templates and what are those and how they work and what is the latest around them. Um, Cathy, before we start, can you do a quick intro as who you are? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Faisa. So uh, my name is Kathy Dew, and I am a pro product manager. Keep switching up those titles because they just changed them on us here in the OneDrive and SharePoint team. And I work in the site space. And so that is a lot of the constructs that span across all of the different site types. And one of those feature aspects is site templates. Um, and we're really excited about these. What do you say? Can we, before we do go to a live demo, what, what is a site template? What does it matter? What, what, what is it? Yeah, site templates are pre-configured scenario-based quick start templates. So as we look at site templates, we build out scenario-based templates that are basically a great way for you to get started in creating a site. So think about um, you're creating a new project site. We have a project management template. In that template, there is a home page with some content, some samples of what you might need for that project. There's a list included using one of our great list templates from Microsoft Lists. There's document libraries, there's page templates included, um, sample pages. So we think of site templates as a way for you to not only get started quickly in a scenario, but also as a way to get inspired by great looking designed sites within SharePoint. So giving you some inspiration, uh, ways to build sites and pages that you haven't thought of before. Cool, and, and I can imagine that if you're a mid-site or, or a larger customer, you would be looking into doing custom site templates as well, which are personalized based on customer brand and so on. So is yes. that an option? Absolutely. So we have a set of from Microsoft provided templates, but you also have the ability to create your own from your organization templates. So custom templates that you can create uh, with a caveat currently of that the Microsoft provided templates do include pages and web parts. Um, custom templates do not yet, uh, but we are working hard to get that ability available for everyone. And, and just to be clear, that we are recording this in September 2022. So if you're watching this a bit further down in the future, um, it might be that the feature is already there. But Hopefully. let's be clear. <laughs> yes, exactly. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. Let's let's actually jump on your screen and let's do a, uh, let's have a look on what this means in practice. Yeah, let's take a look. So here, if we look at our M365 Collab Team site, you can see that this is a great just basic site, but one of the great things you see about this site is I've actually already applied a site template to it. So when I created this new site, it actually prompted me right away to say, hey, would you like to apply a template? Um, and so I picked a template. And so how do I know which template I created? So I can actually go and look at our template history by going into site information. And so you can see that here on this particular site currently, the last template used was event planning. But if I open up the template history, you could actually see that I had before previously applied project management template to the site. So one great thing about site templates is that they are an actually an additive process. So we don't restrict site template application on a particular site. You can apply a site template at any point. And if you choose to change your site template, in this case, from project management to event management, event planning, what happens is that we simply create the additional content needed for event planning and all of the great content that you already had in the site that you had been using as project management stays. It just gets moved into the different category. So the event planning page that gets created gets marked as home. Your project management homepage is still there in your pages library, and you could easily go back in and make that your homepage again if you desired. All of your documents, all of your lists and your list contents 
everything that you had created when you were using it as the project management template are still there. The event planning template just simply got added on top of it. So you have an additive process when it comes to site templates. So they don't remove anything. They simply add more content to your site. So it's really great to be able to see that and to be able to see that template history as well, to be able to come in and see when it was applied, what happened and what that content was and to be able to go in and do that. So it's great to be able to see that our template history is a more recent thing that we've shipped out. So it's great to be able to see that. Now I talked a bit about being able to apply this whenever. So now you see the event planning is here, but maybe I want this to be a different site. So here from settings, I can actually see apply a site template. So if I go to apply a site template, it actually launches up our site template gallery. Now our site template gallery is filtered by the type of site that you are on. So if you are on a team site, all of the site templates that you see, like we are here today, are showing you our team site templates. So this is pre-filtered for our team site templates. And you can see those different templates here, and then you can scroll through those and select them. So say we now, this is going to move into an IT help desk site. And so we could come in here and click on that IT help desk template and see more details about the template. We can scroll down and see information about what that home page looks like. I can understand a bit about what I might could do in this template, understand that there are two lists associated with it, that I could see some frequently asked questions, highlight training opportunities, and understand a bit about this template before I choose to apply it. And if I decide that that isn't the right template for me. I simply utilize the back button and go back to that template gallery, and then I could pick a different template to look at and use. I can at any point cancel out of this and choose not to apply that template. So you can see we have some great templates already and more templates being added all the time. So you may have noticed that I clicked on employee onboarding and IT help desk. Those are two of our most recent additions to our team site templates. So we are continuously updating our templates and adding new scenario based templates. So it's really great to be able to see the site template space continuing to grow and continuing to add new features. And then you'll notice up here at the top, these are the from Microsoft templates. These are the templates that have been provided provided for you from Microsoft. If you at your organization have created a set of custom templates for your organization, those would appear under this from your organization tab. I don't have any currently here in this Rella Cloud um, selection, but that is where they would appear. So you would be able to come here. And if I had any team site templates created custom for my organization, they would appear here. And you can easily toggle back and forth between the two to gain access to the different templates. Now, again, this is a, a filtered list. So this goes back and forth. If you are in a communication site, you are going to see a different set of templates than you see here in a team site. So it's really great to be able to see our set of site templates growing and continuing to grow and our functionality continuing to expand with site templates. Cool. That's really, really cool stuff. And it's it's great to see. You, you said it a few times already, but it's awesome to see new templates all the time. And that's like for inspiration, right? So we're not necessarily saying that, hey, this is the content what you should be using. This is for inspiration of creating the content behind of the site. It's, is that that's right, the right approach, right? Yes, absolutely. And a lot of places you'll see once you apply the template, we're telling you that this is sample content or we're giving you suggestions as to what to go replace it with. If we did not have the right image or the right way to provide the right look for the web part, we're telling you which web part to replace an image with so that you can create that custom look. Um, and so we're giving you some great guidance in the templates themselves. And in fact, once you apply the template, 
template, our next steps panel will drop down and tell you to customize. So we really are wanting you to take these and it's a quick start. So it gets you there. And instead of you having to build from scratch, now you're able to go in and edit those existing web parts to change the images, to change the text, to customize it, to link it up to your places, to add events, to add news, um, and to be able to get started easily and a little bit quicker than you would if you were having to think about how to add those web parts onto the page yourself. Yep, absolutely. And, and if you think about this from a, let's say, pre-sales consulting perspective, somebody who's like a designing things, you can easily provision multiple sites with some example content and then start having the discussion. How do we adjust these things? Yeah, it's so it's such a nice way to be able to get started quickly and, and be able to jump in and make it so that anyone can build it out. So you are creating a template on behalf of someone else and then you're giving them ownership of it and letting them go in and customize it to make it look the way that they want, but giving them that template to understand, you know, hey, this isn't exactly where it all has to be, but here's a great example of where you might want it to be. Yeah. Any any good teasers which we can talk about what's in the future? More templates? Anything else? <laughs> yeah, so you may, of course, more templates always coming, more templates. And then a few other things. You may have heard us at Ignite last year talking about connected templates with Teams. Uh, those are actually in the process. Again, we're talking about this in September. So those are in the process of shipping right now. So you should start seeing those from within Teams. And perhaps FESA will do another video dedicated exclusively to connected templates with some of our Teams counterparts as well to talk about those directly. Directly. Um, but you'll see more templates coming out. We've got plenty of templates planned for the remainder of this year and all of next year. Um, and then we're also looking at changing up so that uh, maybe you can have templates earlier and not just after the site is created. As a ah, oh, when you're selecting what is getting created, you will select the ah, oh, that's actually good. So that's actually a good thing to clarify as well. So these templates, you always start by selecting a team site or collaboration site, and then after that's getting created, then we show that this is the template. Only selection. after you have the site that you yep. can select a yes. template. Month, one step at a time. So we are, this is a good example of an area where we are continuously investing um, and evolving this in a weekly basis almost. So it's it's no longer the three year wait for something new. All the time something new is happening. Yeah, and one of the other great things that you will see is you may see some scenarios coming into our first party gallery is what we call this, are from Microsoft templates. Uh, you may see some of these great templates that you may have seen and gotten used to from the lookbook coming into here. So you'll see some of those where we've taken our great lookbook service and bringing those into the service as well so that we can integrate this together and give you those templates very easily as well. Cool. Really, really awesome stuff. Thank you, Kathy, for uh, joining again on this one. And, and we'll be getting you back for whenever there's a new things to talk about. Sounds great. Thank you.